We're recording. Get off a of block blast. I need my high score, though. Come on, you got to get off block blast. But the my, Warrior Weekly comes first. But my high score. Come on. Okay, fine. My name's Liana. And my name's Alex. And, and welcome, welcome to, to this week's, week's episode of, of the Warrior, Warrior Weekly. Weekly. On October 16th, the Main West Marching Band hosted their D62 night with 7th and 8th graders from different middle schools in the area. They get to see the upcoming competition show and join the band in playing Barbie Girl. On Tuesday, October 15th, Main West celebrated the closing of Hispanic Heritage Month with the activities such as a mariachi band during all lunches and giving away Hispanic pins, which gave warriors the chance to be recognized. And now to Kaylee for your sports update. What's up Warriors, I'm Kaylee and welcome to this week's episode of the Sports Update. On October 10th, the girls swim and dive lost against Maine East 3-0. On October 11th, the Maine West girls varsity flag football team lost their game against West Aura High School by a score of 6-42. On October 15th, Maine West had a whopping 41-14 against Vernon Hills. On October 15th, Maine West Varsity Boys Soccer Team won their Elmwood Park High School match with a score of 4-1. The Maine West Girls Varsity Volleyball Team lost their match against Highland Park High School with a score of 1-2. And now to Joe and Trino for a check-in with your girls volleyball team. This is Joe and Trino, and we are checking in with the girls' volleyball team on their thoughts about the season so far and the goals they are setting for the remainder of it. Um, I think the season so far has been pretty good. I think we have had some ups and downs, but I think as the season's going on, we're progressing and moving on, and I think it's going back to normal, and we're doing pretty good. Um, I enjoy our team dynamic. A lot of us are really close friends who hang out outside of uh, volleyball practice, and yeah, we just have a lot of fun playing. I think getting to know the girls better and just bonding with them and just having that sense of like seeing my friends after school and getting to play with them and practice with them all the time I think is just like so fun. Like last year's team we really did not kind of get together. It was always very separate groups and no one really connected like we do this year. As a team obviously I want us to like win conference, do good at regionals, like win more games, like still have a great connection at the end of it. And I obviously want to end my senior year on a very positive note. Come support the girls volleyball team tonight for their senior night. JV is at 5 p.m. and varsity at 6 p.m. in spec gym. This is Joe and Trino with WMTH Sports. Art Club helps students express themselves with different forms of original art. To tell you more, here's Castro Patushka. The Main West Art Club meets every Thursday after school in the Art Wing, located at the end of C-Wing. Students work on a variety of different projects. So we're working on the Nutcracker right now. It is for Our Lady of Hope Church, I believe. Um, it is a project that we're airbrushing a Nutcracker um, in a design. Uh, National Art Club Honor Society is doing it. So in the club, we sit down you could talk with your friends, hang out, talk to the teacher, talk to anybody, honestly. We're all here as a community. Artists that want to get involved in something at Main West after school are able to use their creative side and express themselves in the art club. I think art club is a place where people can really come together and work on art pieces just together or individually. They can. Um, bring in their emotions, their feelings, their thoughts, and just put it into this nice elaborate piece of work. I feel like art really brings people together and I think that's what we can see here in Art Club. Students report that even after club hours, they will continue to use their benefits of Art Club. I feel like sometimes we have these moments where we're not really able to, able to show or express our emotions, especially to other people, so I feel like Sometimes I come home and I just start sketching away and it's really like a, it's like a safe space. Like I don't have to worry about what people have to like say or like think. So I may not use art in my daily life, but I do see the beauty in things and the creativity that comes with art. 
If anyone likes Art Club and is interested in joining the Art Club, stop by the Art Suite for more information. This is Casper with WMTH News. And now for this week's episode of the Main Minute, featuring your school's announcements in a minute or less. Welcome to the Main Minute. The Main West and D62 Choir Concert will be held Thursday, October 24th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. in the Auditorium. Tech Crew meets Mondays through Thursdays from 3.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. in the Tech Shop. Video Game Club meets tomorrow after school at 3 p.m. Badminton Open Gyms will be held before school on October 25th and November 1st from 7 to 8 a.m. in the Spec Gym. The Speech Team meets today and tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. in C201. Anyone interested in joining Boys Who and Dive should attend our preseason informational meeting on Thursday, October 24th in the pool at 3.10 p.m. Pi Sigma Pi meets Thursday, October 24th at 7.45 a.m. in Lower Commons. Key Club will clean up the football stadium on Friday night after the football game. ASL Club meets Tuesdays from 3 p.m. to 3.45 p.m. at the back of the library. That's all for this week's episode of The Main Minute. Why you make the love to highlight musicians in our community? To, to close our show today, here is Frederick Reed from Choir. Hi, my name is Frederick Reed. I'm in Choir and Win Ensemble, and this is a beatbox for you guys. When I hear my name, I don't... Thanks for watching this week's episode of the Warrior Weekly. See you guys next week. Back to Block Blast. When I hear my When I hear my name, I want to dis-